Um, the next person who comes to the mic is a regular to storytellers. He is family. Now it's gotten to the point where I couldn't imagine storytellers without him being here. Um, he's great at his art, but I found out from Facebook that he's actually a much more hilarious person than I could have possibly imagined, which only feeds to, you know, the, the, the feeling of he's the coolest cat in the world. Um, so bringing up to the mic right now is, like I said, somebody who's family to storytellers, peace all the way, Adam Turnage the third. Give it up, yo. Je montre une défense contre un ennemi immense qui attaque, malgré mes efforts, vaillant ma résistance, puissant son insistance. Jamais il n'y passe de ce sort, ma lutte est inutile, mon corps est mobile. Je dis avec beaucoup de chagrin, qui êtes-vous, qui êtes-vous, et pourquoi en nous on nous Il répond, tu me connais bien, tu me connais quand tes yeux et tes, tes autres parties valables, toujours cassées, mais toujours fâchées, et qui grandissent. Vraiment, maintenant, le désir sexuel et l'habilité, les grandes décisions, la méconnaissance, l'esprit de rébellion, la pureté, tous les choses qui manquent d'acheter, lesquelles tu nourris au prix de ton esprit, et quand tu cherches en vain, pour dépenser clair, tu vois l'évidence dans l'esprit des collègues. Oui, j'ai grandi, vraiment, maintenant, mais j'ai le pouvoir, je suis formidable, et maintenant, tu dois capituler. Venez ici, tu es mon prisonnier. Au même instant qu'il me saisit, je me réveille, je suis encore au lit. Je me suis senti très soulagé, mais mon danger, présent et loin de passer. La grande vérité que j'ai appris, c'est quoi Le plus grand ennemi de moi était moi. Transmission. In the middle of the night, I hear noise that starts the sweetness of my dream. I get a force on me to look for the source that made these images so brief in the corner of my room. A ghost of shadow approaches with all speed. My escape impossible and truly terrible. I must constantly fail. I mount a defense against an immense enemy that attacks in spite of my efforts. My struggle useless in my body and mobile. I say with much distress, who are you? Who are you and why are we struggling? He said, you know me well. You know me like your eyes and your nose and your other valley parts, always hidden but always angry and which grow out of control. Lust, greed, strife. Malice, rebellion, pride, mortal sins and indiscretions, all of the things that emanate from your flesh that you feed at the cost of your spirit. And when you search in vain for clear thoughts, you see evidence of a defiled mind. Yes, I'm grown out of control. I'm awesome. I have the power. And now come here. You're my prisoner. At the same instant that he seizes me, I wake up. I'm back in bed. I feel relieved, but my present danger is far from past. The great truth that I learned this time is that my greatest enemy was me. Mm. Yes. Right. <laughs> the second piece I uh, will dedicate to the camera ladies. Uh, we do Facebook a lot, and she made a status report that I, I don't know, thought something was going on with it. So I, he to send this out to a two and curve. It is for all the dreamers in the audience. It's called uh, Dream On Weary Trap. Mm -hmm. Welcome, word of rescue for the known and weary traveler, pressing forward bravely through continued opposition, hopes and aspirations, resting softly on a dream. A delicate balance and danger by the constant threat of failure, fear, and setbacks as things once Firmly in your loving grasp now, bitter while the reach like crystal smoke that dissipate and punctuate your losses. The plaintive cry of nice and huge disruptive form acquired in the spirit. Lamenting the fate of the dream deferred prompting you to consider the fate of the dream. 
Welcome, word of rescue, sent to redirect your course from the angst of your soul to the rapture of your spirit. Resolve conflicting evidence. Illuminate confusion and know your heart was never set nor charted in illusion. Never dismiss your dreams, nor lightly regard them as flight of fancy, diversion, or pastime. The dream is an endowment, a sacred trust, an embryo encased in the nurturing fluid of faith, desire, and urgency to be rehearsed and affirmed, to be pronounced and declared, to be solidified and made tangible. The dream is a set of four blessing, a direct deposit from God, not to bring on in patience or frustration, but that he might come in and perform it in your life. The dreams are more dramatic way to send his word to you, to set a mark before you towards which to press and keep a date with destiny. Welcome, word of rescue, to propel you towards that destiny. Know how God defines himself as he speaks and that his will and his word are one and the same as that the worlds are framed and ordered by that will. Come to know God, his heart, his mind, his will, tap into relationship instead of provision. His heart and mind instead of his blessings and manifest the dream based on the truth of his word and based on who he is. Make relationships with folks and discover how God's works are inseparable from his being. Yes, expect to be healed because God is your healer. Every need is fulfilled because God is your provider. And concerning your dreams, the passion and desire you build around him brings them into being as God brings about a defining moment of glory as he opens his hand. And he satisfies the desire of every living thing. Become one with his word. Declare it in your life and act upon it and witness your life transforming from hope to the realm of manifestation. Welcome, word of rescue, for the known and weary trap. Right. Trust in God. Seize hold of your dreams. Head towards the mark. And dream on, weary trap. Dream on.